What's up guys? Welcome back to the welcome back to another video and today uh we're getting some big things done on the 650 yeah. yeah I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you and this is no in the future. I'm sitting on my bed because I have to read out all the names. You guys have been killing it with the support. So shout out to Scott Sigal, Alpen Osmani, Rami Avital, Brian Van, Shadik Anderson, Elias Bajerkis, Brianna Sabrina, Vincent Abel, Jose Perez, Miguel Cortez, and Bes Besnik Islami. I think we have a few more actually. You guys have been absolutely killing it. I think this is like recently today. So Jesus Marone, shout out to you, my guy. Michael Tilbo, David Adam, Noah El Cayal, and Miguel Lopez. Shout out to all you guys for the constant support on the channel thank y'all so much and without further ado if you guys will be shout out on the next video make sure to cop something and if you guys will be on the plaque spend 20 dollars or more and you'll be on the 650 i plaque without further ado let's cut into the video so we're heading over to Junior's place, my buddy that actually owns his rap company called Ace Restyling, and he's gonna be helping us put together the 650i. I'm gonna be taking the 435 as well, mainly because I'm gonna leave the car there overnight and hopefully knock it out in two days, because then we can get straight into the mod. We have Jonathan over here, he's gonna be helping us out a little bit. He's actually feeling a little bit sick, so he's, he might be heading to the shop. Uh, but if you guys look at this car, absolutely dis disgusting. I mean, we, we pretty much fixed the whole front bumper, we fixed the fender. The window's really bad, thankfully we're gonna be filming inside. But yeah, it's not in the best shape, it's in good shape, not in the best shape. So hopefully today, at least we can wrap this all, at least the front end, and get those mirrors to match. And you know, the car would feel a whole lot nicer. We got the grills as well. We have all the new lights, the turn signals, everything. We have literally everything to make this car mint. This PDC sensor, I believe, is not working either, so we'll get that cleared up as well. I have that in my backpack as well. We have literally everything for this car. So we're gonna go take it apart, get it wrapped up, get it fixed up. I should do as much as we can today because if we can knock it out today let's do it i'm gonna be taking the 435 the odds gonna be driving the 650. Woo! damn i got that v8 life going moment of truth guys will it work will it work oh all right it's going it's going sometimes it works guys sometimes it does it's that sensor right back there but uh so far so good damn from the outside how you feeling bro you bone or what it's looking good oh my god guys i can imagine this thing fully wrapped up looking mint lowered exhaust custom steering this looks so good we have so much more plans other than that all right brother i'll see you there I can never get over this interior like geez louise thank you so much this copper and white combo i mean come on guys it looks it looks gorgeous these seats were definitely not an investment but i love them you know you gotta spoil yourself sometimes you know Damn! Damn, guys! Look, this guy is such a baller! It looks so good! What? It's gonna be a crazy build. I'm super stoked. I hope you guys are too. Like, just look at it. And here's the police station, boy! My favorite place to be. Imagine just pull up in this in the middle of the police station. Oh, hell no. Alright guys, we just made it down here to RC Restyling here with Junior. So what's going on, bro? How's it going again? He's the one that wrapped my baby and then also wrapped my baby again when I ended up getting new parts. And now we're here with the 650i and hopefully it's gonna be looking a lot mintier. So what do you how do you think this car is gonna look with the wrap that we went with? It's gonna look a lot better, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, actually, and, did I even tell you about the wrap color yet or not yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I did tell him. Okay. And best color choice you could have done. Okay. Um, so while we're just waiting for just a little bit, I'm gonna show them a few things of the car and then we'll head in there and then hopefully get together and just start taking apart the 650. You guys know that the front end, we have all the stuff now for it. And then uh, I think we should start with the front end. It just looks really ugly. You probably saw it. So we'll show you, we'll, we'll let you guys know what actually happened. All right guys, so the top is now stuck in that position again. So the top is just has a mind of its own. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, like I said. But anywho, um, we're just gonna hopefully get this thing cleaned up and then get it in there and get it wrapped. That's like the main goal of today. I know I keep talking about the whole wrap thing, but I can't believe that just happened. Anywho, let's go wash it. Let's wash it, let's wash it. You know I do it for the family, yeah. Give a fuck about it, Grammy, yeah. Cause they will never understand me, no. Cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we never had a plan B. We just got the car in here. Uh, Junior already took off parts of the hood, so we can pretty much already get ready for wrap that. The are removing the bumper right now. Um, we do have a lot of parts for this car that's ready to be put on as well, so I'll show you guys all that in just a second. So we have the two sensors here. We only need one, but they sent us two. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, for the turn signals, we do have both turn signals, which are good to go. We also have the resistor for the bulb, and we also have the halo. So for the most part, we have pretty much everything, but um, here's the wrap, guys. So we went ahead and went with Dragon Fire Red. Just look at that, it looks so good. So we're gonna go ahead, slap it on the hood first. I think it's gonna look super 
super dope. And uh, this is just gonna be so satisfying because this is a big piece of the car and I think it's gonna look so good. So yeah, just to clean off just a little piece of it and we should be good to go. Little update guys, we got done with both fenders, well pretty much almost both fenders. The hood there, and uh, yeah, Junior's finishing up this side. Looking so good. This fender is obviously in mint condition. This one, uh, the crack is actually starting to show through, so that's really unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um, the rest of the damages are right here. It, you can't really tell, which is really good. And then the rest of the fenders are put together. So it is slightly wavy. I'm not a professional bondoer, bond, bond, whatever you may call it. But it looks really good, and that's all that matters. So anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off these bolts because we have to get, remove this tail. We have to remove this turn signal and replace it. Finally, we have turn signals, so uh, let's go ahead and install them real quick. <laughs> Guys, we're in Junior's shop right now. We're basically rebuilding and wrapping at the same time. This is looking so good. So you finally got both turn signals on both sides. Um, I'm actually about to test out to see if the bulbs are the same because they look a little different. So I don't know if they're the same or not. Anyway, we're about to test it out right now. But uh, got the whole, pretty much the whole front end done. We're about to do the pillars and then we're going to do the doors, right? We're gonna knock those out. So right now, let's just go ahead and do the pillars. I think that's gonna complete the front end, um, other than the bumper, of course, but bumpers are hard. So, you know, we'll do that in the end. You know, we'll leave that till the end. So let's go ahead and just do these pillars real quick. All right guys, both fenders, hood, and then he's also working on the pillow right now. It's pretty much complete. I mean, the car looks good as it is right now. The front end was what was terrible, and uh, it's really coming together. The bumper, we're gonna be working on it tomorrow in tomorrow's video, but we're still gonna be working on some more of this car. We're trying to perfect as much as possible. We got the turn signals on, so the car is functional. In terms for the bulbs and the halos and the, and the resistor, we're gonna be doing all that in the shop, hopefully. All right guys, <laughs> we just went ahead and parked. It's looking so good right now. Here with Junior, here with the, uh, let's get something to eat. I'm starving. Marvin. We just got the stash. Damn, boy, you hungry or what? Thank you for fasting with us, by the way. I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Hell yeah, let's go ahead and just let's get back to the shop now. This looks bomb. I like the Chinese things. Junior always knows the new places around here, so that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, about to do the quarter panels. We're gonna do the doors tomorrow. These door handles, we cannot cut them out. They're super hard. He's gonna try to see if he can actually get them like 3D, I mean, not kind of 3D cut, but like pre-cut to where it just fits on the door perfectly. So he's gonna try to get that tomorrow for us. If not, it's all good. We'll go ahead and attempt it. Meantime, we're at least gonna do both quarter panels and the side skirt and uh, just get that knocked out. So uh, let's get to it. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. <laughs> This is looking like a Dodge Viper from this angle. So Junior is really pulling this side together. I'm about to actually work on this little side piece here to finish up this side of the quarter panel. And the all is actually working on the side mirrors. This is looking pretty phenomenal. It took me an hour, man. Hey, no, that only took you like 10, 15 minutes if you think about it. Cause we, we, we just, that quarter panel we started when you started. It just probably felt like forever. But anyhow, shout out to my mans right here. They're both doing a great job. Let's go ahead and just knock out as much as possible.
All right guys, just giving you a little rundown. So this is what we finished so far. Everything is pretty much complete that we've pretty much started on. We put in some new turn signals. We actually finished up this mirror right here. We did all this in red at first, but then the, actually the black and the red contracts looks pretty good. So we're gonna leave it like that. So this mirror is officially done as well. This quarter panel is done. We did try attempting to do this and then your man messed up. Things happen when it's late at night and you're tired. So thank God I ordered more than enough wrap. So hopefully to tomorrow, I'm, I'm gonna go home right now, edit this. It is super late, I think it's almost 12. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna have to, have to head home, edit this video, go to sleep, wake up. I'm gonna be here by like, I think 10 or 11 and we're gonna go ahead and tackle this again. So shout out to Junior once again. His channel's gonna be linked down below. Shout out to him for always helping me with the cars. He does wrapping and tinning and everything like that for a living so he's a professional so if you guys need, need your cars worked on make sure to check him out and hit him up down below also his youtube channel he does a lot of vlogs with his uh which car civic si civic si which is actually a 2020 turbo and he's been doing a couple cool things so for those of you guys who keep saying oh bmw is unreliable he might have a second opinion so anywho i'm gonna head home uh, i know junior is super tired so again shout out to my guy uh, i know my brother is super tired so i'm gonna take him home if you guys want to be shout out in the next video make sure to cop something down below every 20 dollars spent you guys name will be on the youtube plaque for the 650i so i'm still making that obviously till this build is officially finished so if you guys want to be part of that and on the youtube plaque make sure to cop something down below without further ado guys i love y'all so much Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.